Florida's River of Grass, the Everglades. Part 2. Native and Invasive Species of the Everglades. The Florida Everglades are home to many varieties of plants and animals, each and every one of them part of their own ecosystem. Some of these plants or animals are invasive species, meaning that they are not native to the environment and violently take over other species in the area. Other plants or animals are native species, meaning that they are used to the environment of the Everglades. There were also several species of animals originating in the Everglades that are no longer there due to the takeover of invasive species. The plants and animals we see nowadays have been in the Everglades long before the Everglades was actually recognized as the area we see today, and have been adapting to every change the Everglades make. The flora and fauna of the Everglades goes millions of years back in time, possibly around the time of the dinosaurs. When the Florida Peninsula first joined the continent of North America hundreds of millions of years ago, it did not have plants or animals on it. In a million years, enough flora and fauna had gathered there to match the current numbers. The plants and animals, which kept evolving, spread across the entire Everglades area, and as the Everglades was evolving, the plants and animals adapted with it. Nowadays, those plants and animals number upwards of a hundred, with the most abundant category of animals being birds, followed closely by fish. The mixture of the plants and animals' as ecosystems makes another big ecosystem, and there are quite a lot of ecosystems. The animals in the Everglades belong to groups based on their characteristics, and the groups are as follows. Birds, mammals, invertebrates, amphibians, mollusks, reptiles, and fish. The birds group has 22 members, the most prevalent of which are the little blue heron, tricolor heron, the bald eagle, the osprey, the rosate spoonbill, and the brown heron. All the animals in this group feed primarily on fish or worms. The mammals group has 11 members, the most prevalent of which are the Florida panther, the key deer, the West Indian manatee, and the Florida black bear. The animals in this group primarily feed on fish or other mammals. The invertebrates group has seven members, worms, snails, butterflies, and dragonflies. The animals in this group feed primarily on dirt or decomposing organisms. The amphibians group has five members, frogs and salamanders. The animals in this group feed primarily on invertebrates. The mollusks group has seven members, all of which are shells. The animals in this group primarily feed on dead organisms. The reptiles group has 11 members, the most prevalent of which are the American crocodile, the American alligator, and the green sea turtle. The animals in this group feed primarily on fish or mammals. The fish group has 17 members, the most prevalent of which are the Atlantic sturgeon, the shoal bass, the salt marsh top minnow, and the suwanee bass. These animals feed primarily on smaller fish or organisms in the water. Besides the animals, there are 50 species of plants present in the Everglades, the most common plants being sawgrass, mangroves, cypresses, air plants, and gumbo limbo trees. The plants have their own mini ecosystems within the park, and as discussed in part 1 of the Everglades mini-series, there are five types of plant ecosystems, hardwood hammock, freshwater swamp, sawgrass marsh, wet prairie, and pond. The hardwood hammock is the most abundant in terms of plants and animals, home to more than 40% of the Everglades' flora and fauna. All birds, plants, and invertebrates can be found there, as can most reptiles, mammals, and amphibians. The freshwater swamp is home to several types of animals, such as some birds, mollusks, amphibians, one mammal, fish, and reptiles, but only contains six types of plants. The other three ecosystems contain only fish, reptiles, one mammal, and four types of plants. In each ecosystem, there are predators who are bigger than others, and vice versa. The biggest predators in each ecosystem eat smaller animals, and without foreign disturbance, the food chain is stable. Unfortunately, as almost in any ecosystem in the world, the Everglades has its fair share of invasive species. 29 invasive species from all over the world make their homes in the Everglades and disturb the homes of native species. Perhaps the most well-known invader of the Everglades is the Burmese python, the cause of many extinctions in the Everglades. 
It was brought over to the Everglades from homes in Florida who did not want to keep the pythons anymore. Instead of contacting somebody who could take in the pythons, they decided to leave them in the Everglades. The invasive species now roam free in the Everglades, but the greatest threat to the Everglades comes not from the animals, but from humans. Thank you for watching, and as always, if you liked the video, you can click the like button. You can also favorite the video and subscribe to support us. Also, I'm going to post part 3 of this mini-series about the Everglades, which is going to be about the history of the Everglades. As soon as I can, I'm hoping to post it by next Friday, but the latest date is by the Friday after next Friday. So check back every once in a while to see it when it's uploaded.